So you're thinking of moving to Shreveport, Bossier City? In this video, we're going to show you around Shreveport, Bossier City. We will take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different price points of different homes so you can see what may fit within your budget. If you stick around until the end, I will share with you the best kept secret of this neighborhood and that you definitely don't want to miss. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Shreveport, Bossier City, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Shreveport, Bossier City. My name is Robert Batchelor with Batchelor Properties. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you and you and you and you looking for help on making their move to Shreveport Bossier, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below, so we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport Bossier City. Hello, Shreveport Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Today, we want to go into our computer and look at Cross Creek uh, subdivision and the pros and cons to where it's located uh, for you in the midst of uh, travel to the airport, close to what schools, and then just what is it, it, restaurants and all are in the different areas. So let's just jump into our computer here or in my computer and uh, let's see what what we have uh, here as far as the surrounding areas. Let me put my glasses on so that I can see what you guys see uh, there. All right, so the, the actual area that we're talking about is off Airline Drive, which is 3105. There's Benton Road, Highway 3. And Cross Creek is right in this area right here, Regent Street, all of these, and it's just this area right in here. This right here is a different subdivision. You have a long drive to it. So it's a small uh, neighborhood right in here, uh, but quiet. And in the mid uh, range of two hundred thousand dollars, they range from uh, eighteen square eighteen hundred square feet up to about twenty two hundred square feet. Uh, but you know, it's close to uh, many different things. Uh, you have the uh, the landing uh, apartment homes right here that are really really nice, so they don't be devalue the property at all. Uh, and Bozier is real good about their apartment buildings. There are several around in this area that, um, you know, are, are, uh, higher end, uh, as far as value and, and, and what people have to pay and, and how they keep up with their, uh, property, uh, there. So it, so it's nice and all. All right. So let's, you know, let's just kind of take a, a quick glance, uh, because here we are right right here. So we want to kind of put what area we're in. That's supposed to be a star. But right here is the Civil Star North, which is um, the probably the barbecue place of Bossier City and, and surrounding area that, you know, is just awesome uh, food. And they have several locations, um, but this is a smaller version of it, but just as just as good, um, and all. And then over here, you've got a Mexican restaurant that is excellent off of Benton Road. Uh, and then we have several uh, different crispy. We have like crispy donuts right here. That's in a uh, gas station uh, that is uh, convenient. 
and uh, super great uh, people and, and company there. So let's uh, let me uh, scroll down a little bit. And then naturally you have down the road, you have uh, pharmacy, CVS, and then there's Walgreens down down below this way. Uh, Providence is a uh, school from uh, K through eight, I believe. The Risen Rock Climbing Gym is a lot of fun. And there you have uh, where you can climb the the rock uh, walls and uh, and the kids have a good time there. Uh, the North Bossier Park is one of the nicer parks that we have in uh, North Bossier. And uh, it has the water feature. It has the swings. It has the uh, benches and all and, and, and picnic benches and things like that that you could eat and, and all. And a really nice walking area. Uh, if, uh, that, that, you know, if you, your neighborhood's not really a place where you can walk, then driving just over a ways from up here down over to the park wouldn't be far, uh, for your exercise. Uh, and there's, and we see Goodwill and then, then we see Sam's, Sam's Club, um, the party, you know, we have plenty of banks and all. We've got a tennis pro uh, place right over here um, in this area right here. And then uh, there are uh, does and arrow, doe and arrows. Uh, then, you know, there's uh, Goodwill. And then the Blake is a, a retirement center uh, that we have coming uh that that's well, i say coming it's already here uh walgreens uh sam's club academy all down here best buy chick-fil-a uh willis knighton is here and the practice team if you like to hit uh golf uh to practice on your swing then we have the car dealerships you got your, your ford your lexus your uh kia and then there's uh toyota and uh gmc uh, and then uh, we've got our power power sports and we've got Bergeron's right here, Subway. I mean, you've got all kinds of fast food in, in places to go uh, for food right in your, you know, close to your area of the, of the uh, subdivision. Now, let's look at schools. Um we uh, will be going to uh, Airline, Apollo will be the elementary school, Airline will be the high school, and Green Acres Middle School. And so what we have here, let me get a little bit smaller. Um, so here is uh, Cross Creek right here. So you're going to go down Airline Drive, and then you'll go straight down and then um, the school will be like right over in here. That's Airline High School. Apollo will be uh, just right behind it. And then just down a ways is Green Acres Middle School. So the schools are all real close together uh, and all. And this is a straight shot. So with a good 15 minutes at, at most, uh, and, and especially morning time, you'll be able to, to to make it uh, when the high school lets out, it gets a little busy uh, during those times. Uh, and also that, that two 30 to around three 15 for about 45 minutes, it gets this area, you know, a little bit congested because uh, quite a few people are leaving at the same time that we are the largest uh, airline high school is the largest high school in the Northwest area with close to, to, to now 2000 students. So, um, big school, uh, I call it the university, uh, cause it's, you know, it, it's pretty large and all, uh, but, uh, uh, good, good for your kids though. It's a good place. So, um, so that takes care of our school. So uh, let's look at, uh, heading over to the airport. I did the map on it beforehand and saw that it was about 25 minutes. And so uh, in route, you're going to come out here and come down. Here we go. 
Now, the uh, airport is right here. I'll get it straight in a second. Y'all hold on. All right, there we go. Airport. And we are up right in here. So you're going to come down, hit 20, and it you just take it straight on there. You can come down and cut across on 220 and then swirl back to it right there. 23, 25 minutes, you know, at most driving from uh, Cross Creek. So it, it's a good uh, central area, uh, no problems uh, to uh, really, you know, get around and move uh, and all. Uh, there is no traffic light at uh, the exit of Cross Creek, but usually the traffic uh, with, with the lights and all will break off and you'll be in good shape. The houses there are in great shape. Uh, they've uh, a little bit older neighborhood, but the, they've done well uh, in keeping their value and uh, really not that many for sale. Uh, at times, it's very stable. But the location, as you can see, it's not so far, far north that if you need to get down to where you want to go, you don't have to go you know, too, too far to get into uh, where the hub of Bossier City's uh, activity is and uh, and helps you tremendously in time. All right. Well, that's all we have for you today. Uh, just let's make a difference. And I'll see you on the next video. That was good, Batch.